What's up guys, Ricky here, back with another ArtKit video. Today we'll be um, building a sample model with the ArtKit Mini Dormer set. And so I have all the pieces kind of spread out next to me so um, we can work as efficiently as possible. And um, so we'll, today we'll be kind of building a sample model that you can kind of follow along with and um, maybe add your own ideas to. And um, if I am moving too fast, feel free to stop or pause the video and catch up. So today we're going to start off with a, um, a base. I'm using the ArtKit 4x4 plate. And uh, we're going to extend that base by um, one unit. So let's take the, the 4 piece and add it right next to it. So we're going to flip this over. And I like to use the connector pieces, and we're going to be connecting those two um, plates together. So it's kind of a rule of thumb. I like to place um, one connector on either end. Um, more connectors will make it more, um, I guess, will make it stronger, but um, you don't really need that for um, this model. So from here, um, let's go and say, uh, we'll add a corner. So we're going to be using these um, mitered edged, so they have the angled edge, so you'll need two of them to make a corner. So what we have is this so far. After that, let's try to make a little alcove here. So we'll be making that by using four of the angled walls. So we get, um, we get that there. After that, we're going to um, add just a solid edge wall, not cornered, and also a window right next to it. After that, we're going to use a um, clear wall with the mitered edge. We'll place that right next to it right there. On the outside, um, We'll kind of create a, um, a rooftop canopy, like an overhang right here. So let's kind of prepare that. And we'll include a solid wall right here with the flat edge. So, so far we have, we have this. Pretty cool so far. Oops. There we go. And uh, to avoid that happening, <laughs> what we can do is we can pin the top uh, right there with a connector piece and also we can do one for the inside too. Just place it right there yet. Um, I'm avoiding placing pieces right here because I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. What I'm going to, um, yeah, what I'm going to build there yet. So instead of placing a piece and having to remove it later, uh, we'll just be careful. So after that, I'm really liking the difference between solid and kind of um, glass over here. So let's continue that. So we'll use a um, glass piece with an angled or mitered edge. We'll place that next. All right, we'll secure that down. We'll continue the glass and use a glass piece with the solid edge and place that right next to it. So we have, um, we have this so far. After that, let's use these um, really cool pieces right here. They have um, multiple purpose. You can either fit them side by side to create a big window, or what I like to do is I like to meet them at a, at a corner. So you get a really nice window experience right here. So there we go. So far so good. I'm liking this. All right, next. Um, I think we have enough windows right here, so let's go and include a solid wall. This is just a solid edge wall right here. And um, we need a door to enter the space. Usually I start with this first, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So um, here, here's gonna be the front door. So, so far we walk into the space. You kind of have this really awesome um, living area and then like an alcove here and like a window to the backyard. So next to the door, um, let's place another door <laughs> or a window. So the, these, these pieces are pretty cool because they can be treated as a door or a window. So that's kind of uh, include that right there. 
And then after that, let's, um, let's take this um, glass solid piece, so the solid edge, right here. And um, let's add a, another piece of glass. So since we're meeting at a corner here, we're gonna need to use the angled edge um, glass piece. So we can then connect another one right there. So what we have is this so far. Looking pretty good. And uh, you can never have too much windows. So let's add another um, picture window right here. So I'm liking this. This is a pretty good uh, floor plate. And all we really need to add is the roof. So for the roof, um, we have um, these pieces available to us right here. All right, so taking a look at the model, I kind of want to do something really cool with the roof here. So I am going to be placing this piece uh, right here on the base there. So it's going to create this overhang across this section here. And so what I'm going to do, make sure all of your pieces are lined up straight and all the pins are in the correct position. And that, that really just makes it easier for you to place um, the floor plate on top. So what we get is um, this right here. Looks good. So we're going to basically take that all the way across. So let's get another five piece and let's lay that on top. So you have to be careful here. We want these pins right here to line up with that floor plate. It takes some practice, but once you get used to it, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too bad. So to keep these pieces from moving apart, we'll use connectors to um, keep that down right there. So I placed one connector here and one connector here. So moving along, let's take another five piece. And place that right next to it. And uh, we'll keep, copy the same thing. We'll take two more connectors and place it on either end. So we get this. Um, that's only uh, create, we have a, another five piece and a four piece here. So what we can do is we can um, actually extend kind of this patio area. So let's do that real quick. Uh, I'm just going to take this piece and place connectors on the bottom, on both the, the top and bottom and kind of lift up the model and slide it underneath and press down. And then you can take two connectors here and uh, pin the top. So what we have is um, this right here. And this, let's create a, um, just a one unit overhang. So it's gonna look like that. And uh, let's push, push the plate down. And we'll use the connector pieces to um, secure the, the roof. All right, it's looking good so far. So um, let's try to create a combo of using a traditional gable and a flat roof within this model. So on the side here with our um, uh, corner window, let's go and place a roof truss. So if you look at it, the roof truss actually has two pins and you want to place it on the pins um, closest to the outside. So that's this pin right here close to my index finger and this pin over here close to my finger. So we're going to be placing the roof truss uh, just like that. And uh, to keep the model clean, I like to keep the outside of the truss having this smooth edge rather than the rough edge facing inward. So smooth edge outward, rough edge inward. And uh, what we do, what we have is um, we have this roof piece. This is like our roof tiles. And um, they are three units across. So what we can do is we can say we want the other gable to land right here. All right, so we have our two gables. And uh, with these roof pieces, um, these are probably the only piece in the kit where there's an actual like this ways up. So make sure you follow that, otherwise um, the pieces won't connect properly. 
So start at the top of the gable and um, follow the this ways up instructions and place the pins in the appropriate locations. And you can do that for another side on the other side. So we have um, that right there. All right, and basically continue that all the way down. So I'm gonna take another one and uh, make sure you follow the, um, the this ways up for the entire way down. So you get some, you get smooth edges. So we'll copy that on this side and also on uh, this side right here. So it looks like we have just enough to, to make this happen. All right, and uh, let's do something different and make this a flat roof section. So we're gonna use these, um, these square pieces right here, and these basically act as um, roof tiles or finishing tiles. In models, I like to use these to represent grass or um, a roof. So we'll take um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them and use it to create a flat roof. So there we go. All right, guys, I think we're just about done here. Um, the model looks pretty, pretty awesome. If I do say so myself. Uh, we got a, um, a kind of a small porch here. Uh, our front entrance, two separate um, spaces inside, and also a backyard. Um, backyard patio here and so that's that's just about it feel free to add or expand upon this model we have a few pieces left over and um, and yeah I'll see you next time thank you so much for watching